this is the hiker breakfast of dreams for Largo. Mm-hmm. I, I, what do you have in this morning? Well, I had a waffle on here, but it's gone. Um, sausage, eggs, and then I'm coughing. Yum. <laughs> Welcome back to the trail. I'm Captain. And we're still walking. And it seems like there's a little bit of something missing today, isn't there? Well, mom is unfortunately not hiking with me today. She has decided to take a little bit of a zero day so that we can both stay on the same schedule. It's getting to be a bit much hiking alone, both of us, and scheduling all of that as well. So. I am going to be doing what she did yesterday, and I hear it's a pretty difficult trail today. So far, it looks good though. We have a little bit of clouds and mist through these forests, and it's quite nice. Other than that, we will be going through a bit of a dry area, so no water for basically the entire day for 15 miles of today. And I am packing out four liters of water which normally would be quite a lot, but since I'm slack packing, it's not crazy weight. Let's get going. Look at this. We've got one two over there and a third one further back deer wow that's adorable and of course i've got a feeling once i start moving oh no they're pretty friendly wow this is surprising wow i did not expect that that's adorable wow So it has been really cloudy today, but I think I found one of the best views we have seen in a while. You can just see the evolution of the clouds to the sun, all of that. It's, this is beautiful, wow. I would also have to say that today has been amazing. It's maybe 11 o'clock in the morning right now, and the weather is immaculate. It's cloudy, but not too cold. And so I just get this kind of good pace going now. And honestly, if this could be similar to what I would get the entire time, it would be amazing, but I doubt it. And the sun is already coming out. I think that allowing me to get this kind of pace going in the morning. I'm already down seven miles, which is quite good for 10, 11 a.m. So I think now it'll just be a case of how early I can get in, potentially maybe at like four, three or four o'clock in the afternoon, which is far earlier than I expected, but still pretty long, who knows. So I am now going down the hardest hill of the day, and as pre-warned from mom, which is a bit disappointing, I can see the hill that I'm going to be going up next. I've got a river and a bit of a kind of hard to see, but I've got a river to cross and a bridge and, and some such. But that is the hill that I have to go back up. So basically, my altitude is not changing. This is going to be fun. All right, so I have gotten a bit closer. You can see there's the highway, the river, and then the mountain. Tomorrow is the end of Rocksylvania. 
but I think we finally hit Roxylvania. And it's ironic because this has been like 0.3 of a mile. It is very, very tough right now, but... And now with the wind and the cool bird, right? Where did that bird go? Hey, look at the birds. Um, but no, now it's time to go down that. All right, so I just got back from the trail after a very engaging Uber, and I wanted to talk a little bit about power. A lot of you have been asking how we charge stuff and all of that, and I thought I might have a little, little segment about this. So, mainly for power, we have multiple different sources, but we use portable chargers. Um, there is no way we could possibly be able to charge stuff consistently uh, using like plugs from coffee shops and some such along the way. So we have resorted to carrying quite a lot of chargers. And since we have the camera as well, it does take a lot of power. So right now we have the first of many chargers. We have two anchor power banks uh, that have both USB-C. I can't see if you can tell there, but two USB-C and then two regular USB chargers. These weigh each 1.3 pounds and have two, uh, 25,000 milliamps. Next up, we have a newer version or a newer charger for us. Uh, this uh, unknown brand charger that we found on Amazon that is weighs one pound and has 40,000 milliamps. Now, these, which we have two of and bought at the beginning of the hike, charge very quickly. They charge in around two hours, whereas this charges for, it takes around seven hours to charge fully, but it is quite bigger, or it is, it's smaller, it weighs less, but it has more power. So it's a little bit better. Next up, we also have the Anchor, another Anchor. Uh, the unique part about this one is that we can use it as focus on that. We can use it as uh, both a plug and an actual portable charger. Uh, you can plug this into a wall outlet and it will charge everything faster. And then when you unplug it from a wall outlet and try and charge stuff, uh, it will just take out of its own portable charger. And then finally, we have the last but not least is this. These are uh, very small, just kind of uh, handheld, uh, again, anchor um, batteries that weigh about half a uh, half a pound. Myself and Sunshine have um, one, and they charge for about 10,000 milliamps. So in total, it is quite a lot uh, to carry around. In total of weight, it's around maybe four, four or five pounds, but it lasts us around five days um, in, a, in, a, in a good situation. Sometimes we have to charge stuff uh, that we didn't expect to, but normally it lasts us uh, quite a while, and um, I think that's about it. Of course, it's ever-evolving. We recently got this one, uh, this smaller, um, more efficient charger, and got rid of one of our very old portable chargers that we have had since 2018. But I am sure this will be the setup that we'll kind of ride with until the end. Now let's on to the end. Welcome to the end of day... 110? I think... I think it's... I think it's day 110. I think it's 111. 110 or 111. I did, we're wait, we're wait, losing wait, wait. count. I gotta figure it out now. Because I think I did 100... You and I did 110 yesterday, just not together. Oh, I'm on the wrong map. Um, hold on, guys. Okay. Uh, what state are we in? We're in Pennsylvania. Are we in Pennsylvania? <laughs> I'm in Who Pennsylvania. Knows? I don't even know. We're where losing heck. count of everything. I don't even know where to heck. So day 111, and you went. What I did yesterday, and you did something different. You Nine, went 18.6 miles. And you went from Smith Gap Road. To, no, you went from no, Asheville. From Ashfield Road. To Smith, to Smith Gap. Smith Gap Road. And tomorrow we'll do Smith Gap together. And today was a tough day. I would it have was to tough. say. Yeah, it was a hard day today. <laughs>
So that's the first time you slept all day. No, I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep all day. When you left, I did take. I went right back to sleep and slept till like eight thirty, and then I spent the whole day. I didn't vlog it, guys, because I just, I honestly had so much to do. Will left, and so I had to go through all of our bins, pack up bags that he's dropping along the way, pack up the bag and the computers that he's dropping for us for Friday for his Dungeons and Dragons, and for me to do some work Friday night. Um, I dyed my hair. I plucked my eyebrows. Wow. And I walked all day. You walked all day. But I will say, okay, so now that you've done what I did yesterday, I think that that was the most beautiful walk I've had on the trail. It was beautiful. I feel like you were very, you, you exaggerated the difficulty that it was. You think so? Well, you're younger than I am. Here's the thing: you were, you were, you were very much saying, "Oh, it's going to take you a mile an hour. It's gonna, it's gonna be extra challenging on the last." Few I said miles. it would be a little. E oh, so you're trying to prove me wrong? I, I just, I think. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to do? I think the extra challenging difference between yourself and myself. Yeah, I mean, there's a eight, there's a there's a ten year age gap between us, and <laughs> he's adopted. Um, okay. So I thought it was hard, but not unbelievably hard. Like people, I don't think the Rocks of Pennsylvania or Rocksylvania is that hard. Now, of the Rocksylvania days, we have slack packed. Yes, you slack packed yesterday, and I slack packed yesterday too. But even slack packing, I just don't. I think it just depends on your if you have if your knees. I think if you have bad knees, this would have been hard. Yeah. Or probably. if I had my tendonitis is like a level four now. If it'd been like a nine, like before, I don't think I could have done it. So I think it depends on your physical ability, and I. I always thought I didn't have that very good balance, but I bounce from rock to rock very easily, and so do you. Yeah. And now I have my boots that come up higher, which really work. Did your hokas work better today? Uh, absolutely. But I would say they're a little less built for the rocks. What they lack in comfort, uh, they might make up for... Or wait. What the Solomons lack in comfort, they make up with it, kind of like rock plates and, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um... You and went nine, eight, eight, yes, okay, eighteen point six. But I would have to say the my favorite part of the day were the views, because um, I would have to say these were the best views I've seen in an entire in in an entire day on the trail. Because yeah. summed up, there were cumulative good views. I would totally. That was a perfect statement to make. All right, um, we're gonna probably watch a movie or something. Um, I did do, I did some work today, which felt really good because I was just struggling my work on, and that's about it. The best and worst. Uh, my best was the views and then I wouldn't say I have a worst. My best was, I was in the same space as Will today. I don't think I would say we hung out together because he was on the road by three o'clock and he it was a rush to the finish line for him. And because he had to take my computer with him and drop it at our next spot, I was like, like this on the computer all day. So at least being in the same space with Will was nice. A shower was really, really nice. Shower was nice. Breakfast, um, and That's sleeping into nine was nice too. Oh, Did you have wow. a worse? Not really. No. Sleeping until nine. You had a zero day the other day and you slept. I didn't. Guy didn't go back to sleep when you left. Oh, you didn't. Okay. Did no, you, you I had I had today? other priorities. I decided to watch the F one race. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I should have watched the Olympics, actually. Really Either tired. way, I'm excited that the two of us get to hike again together starting tomorrow. It's been a couple days on this too. Absolutely. That's going to be about it for us. We will see you on day 112. Bye. This is what breakfast looks like for Captain. Mm -hmm. Quite the hype for breakfast. You happy? <laughs> um, okay, so I went about a mile today. Wow. I went down to breakfast.